Zeke the robot has powered to Earth to learn all about our animals. Let's join Zeke on his adventure as he discovers big beasts like these great whales, the enormous elephants, and cranky crocodiles. Strap on your explorer boots and hold on tight as we venture into Zeke's animal world. Watch out, Zeke. That animal behind you is a rhinoceros, commonly called a rhino. They have big ears and big nostrils. Their big ears are to help them hear other animals better, and their big nostrils help them smell because their small eyes don't let them see very far. Rhinos also have big horns that grow in the middle of their nose. A rhino's horn is made of keratin, which is the same thing that our fingernails are made of. Yes, Zeke, if their horns break, they can grow a new one. These animals have three toes and have thick folded skin, which sometimes looks like heavy armor. Rhinos are so big that if you were to place them on a scale with mice, you would need 3,000 mice to balance out one rhino. I know it looks like fun, but no Zeke, you can't play in the mud. Rhinos can run very fast, almost as fast as a car. These big beasts are herbivores. That means that they get their energy from eating plants. Pretty cool, hey, Zeke? There are five species of rhino. White, black, Indian, Javan, and Sumatran. The black and white rhinos both have the same gray skin. Most rhinos like to live by themselves, but sometimes they'll live with a few other rhinos in a herd. These rhinos like to live in woodlands, grasslands, and sometimes tropical forests. Hey Zeke, baby rhinos have a very close relationship with their mothers. Sometimes they'll stay with their family for four years before they go off on their own. Oh, aren't they cute? It's hard to see the horn on this baby rhino, but when it's five weeks old, its horn will be much easier to see. A male rhinoceros is called a bull, a female rhinoceros is called a cow, and the young are called calves. A group of rhinoceroses is called a crash. Well, Zeke, what have you learnt about these big beasts? You've discovered they have big ears. You now know that they're herbivores and they eat plants and that they have three toes and live in the grasslands of Africa. I hope I answered all your questions on the rhinoceros. This big beast rules Earth's oceans. And yes, Zeke, these humpback whales certainly are impressive. With just a few pumps of its tail, the humpback can propel its entire body into the air. Humpback whales grow to be about 16 meters long, almost as long as two elephants. Well, Zeke, humpbacks are well known for sticking their tail out of the water into the air, swinging it around, then slapping it on the water's surface. This is called lobtailing. No humpback whale's tails or fins are exactly the same. Just like our unique fingerprints, every whale's fin is different. <laughs> humpback 
humpback whales like to live alone, Zeke, joining into groups mainly to eat and breed. They usually travel by themselves or with two or three other whales. These big beasts are mammals, not fish, which means they come out of the water to breathe air. But when they're under, they can stay down for up to 20 minutes. They can even swim upside down. Nosy, humpback whales don't breathe through their mouths. Instead, they take in air at the surface of the water through two blowholes located near the top of the head. Humpback whales even sing songs. Male whales make a series of loud sounds when they're trying to get the female's attention. Did you know, Zeke, that these beasts eat krill and small fish, including sardines and squid? Humpback whales are found in every ocean on Earth and are the fifth largest of all the whales. The way that the humpbacks arch their backs when leaping out of the water is how they got their name. Okay, Zeke, let's recap what we've learned about these big beasts. We learned that whales are mammals and that they like to eat small fish. We also now know that they live in all the world's oceans. And don't forget about their huge tails. Are you ready for some more big beasts, Zeke? Now we'll look at the giraffe. Zeke, these animals are found in the savannas and grasslands of Africa. Giraffes are the tallest land animals. A giraffe could look into a second story window without even having to stand on its tiptoes. These very tall animals eat leaves, flowers, seed pods and fruits. Males and females eat from different parts of trees. Do you know how many bones are in a giraffe's neck, Zeke? Just like humans, giraffes have seven neck vertebrae, but each of theirs can be up to 25 centimeters long. In the wild, the mother giraffe delivers a single calf while standing upright. Yes, it is a long way to fall, but the calves don't break any bones and are even walking around after just an hour. By the next day, they'll be running. Yes, Zeke, that is very fast. Well, Zeke, just like rhinos, you call a group of giraffes a herd. Males are called bulls, females cows, and a younger giraffe is a calf. When a calf is born, it drops to the ground head first. No, Zeke, the fall doesn't hurt the calf, but it does cause it to take a big breath. You better enjoy these big beasts while they're standing still, because you'd have a hard time keeping up with a giraffe when you're walking, because every step they take is four meters long. That's as long as a family car. Well, giraffes have long eyelashes, Zeke, to keep out ants and to protect their eyes when they're eating from thorns in the trees. Let's look at what you've discovered about giraffes. They hold the title of being the tallest land animal. They get all their energy from leaves and flowers. They live in the grasslands of Africa. 
And don't forget about their very, very, very long necks. This grizzly bear looks like he's having lots of fun. Yes, Zeke, these big beasts are also known as the brown bear and are mostly found in forests in Canada and America. They have fur that ranges from brown and black to a cream or silver color. This gives the fur a grizzled look and is how the bear got its name. Zeke, grizzly bears have claws that are long and curved. These claws are used to dig up plants to eat, as well as to dig holes to sleep in. Bears rely on their noses to detect when other animals are nearby. Be careful, Zeke, that bear can probably smell you. No, Zeke, actually a female bear is called a sow and a male bear is called a boar. A group of bears is referred to as a sloth of bears. Did you know that when brown bears stand on their hind feet, they can be up to two meters high? Watch out, Zeke. The grizzly bear lives along rivers and can be found in forests and mountain woodlands. Brown bears are omnivores. That means they eat other animals as well as plants. Grasses, berries, insects, fish, and small and large mammals are all part of a bear's diet. Yes, those cubs do look like they're having fun, Zeke. The grizzly bear usually forages for food in the early morning and evening and rests during the day. Zeke, although they will normally not attack humans, grizzly bears will defend their young cubs or their food. While these big beasts look like cuddly teddy bears, it's best to stay away from them, Zeke. So, what have you learned about the grizzly bear? They have very long claws, are found in forests. They like to eat grass and fish, and grizzly bears have brown fur. How's that, Zeke? Our next big beast, Zeke, is the largest animal that lives on land, the elephant. Some male elephants can grow to be four meters tall. That's more than twice as tall as many human adults. Elephants love water and are very good swimmers. When they get hot, these big beasts swim in lakes and rivers. Actually, elephants can also cool off by rolling in a shady bed of mud, Zeke. Most elephants live in the grasslands of Africa and in the forests of Asia. They live in groups called herds. The herd has up to 10 females and their babies. Did you know, Zeke, that elephants smell, drink, eat, and wash themselves with their long trunks? They have tusks, long teeth made of ivory that help them get food and carry heavy objects. When elephants travel, they walk very quietly in single file, Zeke. Sometimes the baby elephants will hold on to their mother's tail so they can keep up. Elephants can walk very fast and travel great distances when on the move. These big beasts eat grass, small branches and bark from trees. They especially like leaves from the top branches.
birth, a baby elephant, called a calf, is about one metre tall. That's probably the same height as the boys and girls at home. A calf is usually quite hairy, with a long tail and a very short trunk. It uses its mouth to drink its mother's milk, so it doesn't need a long trunk to feed. Would you like to know an amazing animal fact, Zeke? Elephants actually sleep standing up and can weigh as much as a school bus. These animals get water in their trunks to be sprayed into the mouth for drinking. Let's see what you've discovered about the elephant, Zeke. These big beasts eat grass and they love water. Elephants have very long tusks and drink with their trunks. Has that answered your question, Zeke? Now we look at one of the biggest beasts of all, the gorilla. It is true, Zeke, that gorillas have an excellent sense of smell, good hearing and are extremely powerful. Gorillas are the largest living primates, the family of animals that includes monkeys, apes and humans. Gorillas are a little like humans, but although they're able to stand upright, gorillas prefer to walk using their hands as well as their legs, Zeke. Their bodies are covered by thick, dark hair, except the face, chest, underarms and hands. A group of gorillas living together is called a troop. Did you know, Zeke, there can be 5 to 30 gorillas in one troop, led by a strong, experienced male, known as a silverback. Gorillas usually live in tropical rainforests, where they're surrounded by food and trees. Gorillas are herbivores, which means they eat fruits and the leaves, roots and stems of many plants and trees. Nearly half of a gorilla's day is spent eating. A male gorilla will eat up to 18 kilograms of food each day. Yes, that is a lot of plant Zeke. These big beasts never stay in the same place for more than a day. After all, they don't want to run out of food. Each morning, the silverback will lead his troop to a new area where there is a lot of food. Young gorillas learn by imitating what the others in the troop are doing. Zeke, a young gorilla, stays close to its mum, sharing her nest until it's four to six years old. Gorillas have very strong teeth, which they use to strip leaves off trees. Zeke, gorillas communicate with each other by using gestures like facial expressions and chest slaps. Don't worry, Zeke, these gorillas are just play fighting. OK, let's take a look at what we've discovered about gorillas. They have very strong arms and they live in rainforests. Gorillas are covered in thick black fur and they eat fruit and leaves. Now you know everything there is to know about gorillas, Zeke. Yes, now we're looking at the hippopotamus. Hippopotamus comes from a Greek word meaning water or river horse. But hippos are not related to horses at all. In fact, their closest living relative is the pig. 
Hippos have very big, strange eyes that allow them to see above the water and below the water at the same time, Zeke. They can even open their mouths up to 150 degrees wide. With its eyes, ears and nostrils on the top of the head and nose, the hippo can hear, see and breathe while most of its body is underwater. They're the second heaviest land mammals on Earth. They're the third largest animal in the world, next to the elephant and the white rhino. The ears and nostrils close automatically when the animal is underwater. A baby hippo is born on either land or in shallow water, Zeke. In water, the mother helps the newborn to the surface, later teaching it how to swim. Hippos have to stay in water for long periods of time because their skin is very thin and they can get dehydrated. Common river hippos live in herds of about 10 to 30 animals, but they have been observed in groups as large as 100. These big beasts are herbivores. Remember, that means they like to eat grass, leaves and fruit. Hippos get to relax and spend most of the day in the water, Zeke, and leave it to walk around at night. OK, Zeke, let's look at your fact sheet on the hippopotamus. These big beasts have big eyes and noses. They eat grass and fruits. Hippos have very sharp teeth and they live in herds. Are you ready for our last big beast, Zeke? Yes, that's right. It's the crocodile. These animals live in swamps or on riverbanks and catch their prey in the water. Their skin is usually brown and very scaly, Zeke, so they can blend into the water and look like logs. The eyes, ears and nostrils are located near the top of the head and are exposed when they float just under the surface of the water. Crocs have a great sense of smell and are carnivores, which means they eat meat. They eat whatever they can catch in the water or on the land, including fish, turtles and deer. Do you know, Zeke, that their teeth are very sharp and pointy so they can eat their prey quickly? Now we'll check what you've learned about crocodiles. They live in swamps where they like to eat meat. These big beasts have pointy and sharp teeth and they have a scaly body. I hope you've learnt a lot about our big beast, Zeke. See you next time.